Why? Are we getting any sort of feeling of what's making them leave? So on the Slack side today, one thing that a lot of folks are expecting is that Salesforce spent a lot of money on these acquisitions, mm. right? $26 billion for Slack, and now it's working to integrate it further into its product portfolio. So it didn't say that we're getting rid of Stuart because of this, but we saw the same thing happen at Tableau, another mega acquisition. Much of their leadership has left in recent months, and I mean, three top executives leaving on the same day, this is restructuring. Brody, there's a lot of focus right now on software and cloud. Earlier today, we spoke to one of the CIOs at BlackRock. Just take a listen at how he sees this sector. You're seeing growth slow, but you're still seeing positive growth, particularly in software. And so I feel, still think it's a very good sector. Obviously, there are pockets in the sector where valuations got out of whack, and those have come down. And so I'm still optimistic on technology. What Tony Dispirito just described there pretty much describes Salesforce, doesn't it? This is a company that has slowed down on the top line, and Benioff has to prove now that he's going to change that somehow. There's an interesting debate right now between investors. Some people still want to see Salesforce be a growth company. They want to see them go make some big acquisitions, keep that top line healthy. A lot of folks are saying you need to focus on the margins. You spent, you know, 50 billion on acquisitions in the last couple of years. You really need to boost those profits. So, I mean, they are in a tough spot, even when you don't consider the fact they're losing some of the most famous talent. I mean, a tweet went viral the other day on Twitter saying, if you have Brett Taylor in your company, throw yourself in a volcano to keep him. <laughs> they couldn't keep him. Uh, interesting. And, and I think, therefore, that is why we hear from Anurag Rana of Bloomberg Intelligence yep. saying there is more pressure to prove that there is a bench there, yep. a bench of future leaders who can drive forth sort of organic growth. It can't all be about one man. It can't all be about Benioff. What of the people that therefore step up? What of the person who replaces Stuart Butterfield, for example? Yeah, so the person replacing Stuart Butterfield is uh, Lydia Ann Jones. She's a leader from the kind of core Salesforce uh, products. And that, again, shows you that they're trying to further integrate it into the wider Salesforce, the more traditional way of doing things. But truly, I mean, when Brett left, a lot of people said Stuart Butterf Butterfield is the one who will replace him. People were saying, okay, great. <laughs> and five days later, Stuart leaves, right? I mean, it's, uh, not, a it's good not a situation that's good, yeah.